Welcome. Thank you. How are you? Doing good. You know, I really think you ought to start wearing a beard. I think you'd look really good in a beard. <laughs> no, honey, I'm on Zoom. Oh. She can come. She can come and look over your shoulder and say hello. I'm just going to say hello. She's much prettier than you. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? What, what, what is this taking off your glasses to see me? <laughs> because Aren't I big enough? She does. I do. <laughs> Her yeah. glasses are far away, not up close. <laughs> I see. I see. They get so in the way, huh? Tree. <laughs> she hasn't seen your tree. <laughs> oh, We've beautiful. decided we will keep our tree up until all this garbage is over. <laughs> you know, between the election and the COVID and the, all that. So. Yeah. Um, let me first ask you what you are uh, communicating on. Are you on a laptop or a tablet no, or I'm phone? On my cell phone? Okay, cool. Wonderful picture. Thanks. What? <clears throat> on the, I was talking about the picture. Oh. So, and if you want to join us, pull a chair up if well, you want. It's up to you. We. I'm not going to take my tree down in forever. It's all White House and it's beautiful. Yeah, our tree is, if you can see it. It's fantastic. It's like 95% White House ornaments so that we've collected over the years. Oh, wonderful. I'm taking so. it down till we move. <laughs> and we even have the new one, which I was surprised um, is JFK. Yeah, oh, he's great. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. wait a minute, let me see if I can. It's, it's, hold on. Yeah. This is this is the joy of using a cell phone. Can you oh, see I that? Oh, I like that. Lower it a little bit. Aim it down. Okay, well that's fine. Yeah, I can see that's Jay. That's John. Um, Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And basically different ones. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah. Over the years, did you, we've did collected. You, did you ever get a um, a Lego White House? Uh huh. No. No, we didn't do that. Uh, our grandson. Oh, no. <laughs> our teenage grandson loved Legos, or uh, two of our grandsons did. And uh, he got a great big White House, and I helped him put it together. So, uh, what I was going to ask, oh, I was going to, uh, you know, I know you like uh, repartee and quips and whatnot. I cannot, I cannot best you on your JFK and presidential Christmas tree ornaments, but I do can keep up with you. I have two blooming white JFK roses. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, wow. yeah. Great. cool. Yeah. Well, Sharon's dad was head of physical security for State Department for 36 years. Mm. And so we have a lot of presidential ink pens from signing right. and uh, just paraphernalia that he collected. Uh, we great. have a picture of him standing at parade rest in front of the limousine with the picture of JFK in the window. Uh -huh. And my rocker. So, you don't really yeah, she rocker. has a, a Kennedy rocker. If you recall, Kennedy had major yeah. back. We had one when I was a kid. Oh, there's George coming in. Um, oh, who is that, George? Okay, yep. I'm going to go to gallery mode so I can see everybody. Oh, Hello, hey, George. Georgie Porgy. There oh, he is. Let me uh, adjust this camera. Um, Roy, if, if if you have something to set your phone on, you can turn it horizontally. Oh, me? And, yeah, I, and I I think that. I, can you try that just for a second? It'll. Yeah, that that makes your picture equal size to ours pretty much <laughs> and uh and then we can see your more of you I may be able to go to gallery here there we go now i've got gallery so i, I can see George, you and myself so hey george hello roy 
How you doing? Doing well. Doing well. Good. So what I was saying, one more deck before we get into a general conversation. Uh, there was a man that made a special rocker for President Kennedy because of his back. Mm -hmm. And uh, so my father-in-law asked that same gentleman to make one more exactly like that rocker. Right. Um, and he did. And Sharon was seven months pregnant with our first child at the time. And hold on just a second. I can maybe show you. Um, doesn't show very well, but that's it. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. That's I love that was, furniture. Was wicker so back. That's, that's, that's the good. Kennedy rocker. That's that's is that that's that cane uh webbing yes, or is that wicker? No, that's caning. Caning. Yeah. And we had to have it replaced one time, you know, but um Yeah, so you anyhow. guys are so freaking old. <laughs> yes, we are. Not me. And just an update, <laughs> Rick, you'll find this interesting, and George will probably too. Your dad was at Asbury in Solomon's. If you do you recall that? Um no, because my, we're in my aunt and uncle. No, your dad was there. At Asbury? Yes. Because uh, we actually met him there. Well, he, uh, he went to visit his sister. Did I, I never well, read, well anyway, I'm not gonna argue with you. You met yeah, him there. That's all that matters. When, when my parents were there and we right. did meet him, he may have been visiting. Yes, that's true. But anyhow, we're in the process of applying to Asbury, Solomon's. And even though we hate, and you've been here once where we live and we're, yeah. you know, a, a short walk down to the intercoastal waterway. Right. Um, but we're, we've decided that since our children are all up in the DC area, ah. that we will, even though I hate Maryland, um, <laughs> We are going to, yeah, we're going to go ahead and move into Asbury up there in the next year or two. Wow. So, and it, that's a big decision. We're going from it is 3,900 square feet and almost three quarters, well, more than three quarters of an acre to 1,000 square feet. Oh, shit. So we're going to have to give up a lot of what we have accumulated over the years as far as artwork and yeah. um, ceramics and glassware and yeah. all that because you can't take it all with you. No. Nope. So you know what, well, Roy, what's the sad part? You can't even take your memories with you when you pass. You yeah, can't even take true. it. <laughs> so anyhow, we're gonna do that because we know at some point we're going to need assistance. You know, yeah. I, I'm pretty healthy right now and able to do the lawn and, and everything that we need done here at the house. Right. But that's going to end at some point. And we promised our kids that we would never be a burden to them. Yeah. You know, they would not have that responsibility. So, uh, and George, I gave that up about a year and a half ago. Let me tell you something uh, about... Three, I guess it's been three, four months now. I had stopped smoking again for about uh, two and a half months, and then I got hacked. Well, I used and to stop smoking every day from like midnight till four in the morning. So, and it wasn't hard to do once you're well, asleep. You don't mind not smoking at smoking all. Smoking at all. Well, I used well, to tell people that. I used to only smoke after sex, but the doctor told me that four packs a day was going to impact my health. I had to cut back. Yeah. Old joke. <laughs> so, Old joke. So anyhow, I, I did quit and I still have the urge, but oh, yeah. I feel smo so much better. You know so. what I found that the, uh, the Nicorette gum really helps. Yeah, it really does. If you, if you, and it, Look, Roy, it's all it's it's a mental thing. I know that. You know that. Oh, it's Are more than sure? a mental thing. No, it's it's not just a mental thing. It's no, it's, it's, a, it's an addiction. Yeah, but if you can make it a week 
without it, then you just keep right on going because, you know, that's it. You, you, no. Two weeks, two weeks and, and most of it's out of your system. It's too that's easy what the to doctor read. Tells me. I, I found a cigarette on the ground the other day. I picked it up and ate it. You know, <laughs> uh, well, no, I did, it, but it sounds good. Yeah. Well, I always yeah, thought you were tobacco worm. <laughs> a, a friend of mine once said if he found out that he was terminally ill, the first thing he would do is run to 7 Eleven and buy a carton of cigarettes. So, mm -hmm. but um, uh, I had. Uh, I had quit for two and a half years, Roy, before I, uh, when I found out I, had, I that I had cancer. So well, what the hell? What was the first thing I did after I got back to work? I bummed the cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do crazy stuff, George. We really oh, do. Oh yeah. Oh so. yeah. Well, there's, but there's, overall, there's another addiction, Roy, and 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 that. Is big in my family, and that's and that's food. Um, we, I have I have just gone on a you know a grass fed diet. I've lost twenty five because I got so fat. I just Isn't that really rough on your teeth, man. No, 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 no. I Hold don't on. have any teeth. <laughs> Hold on, watch this, guys. You see that? <laughs> That is since January, that is plus 34. Well, I'm on the other way down. Oh, good, I never George. thought I would have a gut, but I now have one. Yeah, I well, have trouble do a rupture. Because my stomach gets to the door before my arm does. And your center of gravity has moved a foot higher. You're not <laughs> that, kidding. That's tough on your balance. I fell gotta, down the other day and rocked myself to sleep before I could get back up. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is going downhill fast. <laughs> uh, no, but overall, we're very healthy. Uh, we just came back from the doctor today. Sharon had her quarterly checkup, and now he said, don't come back for six months. So um, that we're blessed with. We were exposed to COVID the Saturday after Christmas and our next door neighbor came over and they, he and his wife brought us a, a beautiful basket with caramel popcorn and jellies and jams and crackers and all that and spent maybe a half an hour at the house and we just chatted for a while. Well, that was on Saturday after Christmas. On Tuesday after Christmas, he called to tell us that he had COVID. And fortunately, he's early 40s, and um, he had a mild case, and um, and they own a, another house uh, close to us on 100 acres that they just had refurnished. So he went over to their second house and spent the time until he was declared COVID-free. Were they and wearing his masks? Was tested, Were they and they didn't have it. No, oh no. no, of course not, Dick. So, uh, so anyway, he's back home. He's COVID free, and we waited seven days, which was a recommendation, and then we went and had tests, and we're COVID free. So good, good. Judy right. and I were able to get our uh, vaccines on on Saturday. So we're, we're lucky feeling... you. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. I say, lucky you. Pinellas County's been shut down for days. Well, I, I and, and I'm I'm saying that we feel extremely blessed because somehow we, we, our primary is at the university where we used to work. Okay. And, uh, well, I understand that then. What's that? I say I understand that then. It's a little easier, Dick, when you used to work there. Well, no, we didn't work for the physicians group. We just worked for the university. I mean, it's a big ass university. Yeah, uh, I know. So, but but for whatever reason, they got organized, they got set up. It was like zip, zap, zip. We've already got a, we, we the uh, January 28th, we get our second inoculation. So you. We're, we're, I tell you what, we've, we've really kept our head down. We use Instagram. Instacart and we have cardboard coming out our kazoo 
because of all the deliveries. You know, well, we want to we want a box of pistachios. We call Sam's. <laughs> I went out. I actually went out last night to dinner at Cody's. Had my usual uh, fajitas. And uh, did you eat in or out? I ate in. Mm. That's the only way I could get that big mug of beer. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, it's the, I usually go maybe once a month on Wednesdays because it's, it's, it's uh, two for one. You buy one, you get one. Yeah. So, Last night I had uh, steak and uh, chicken fajitas, and tonight I'll have the shrimp fajitas that, that I didn't eat, that I didn't take it, but that I took out last night. So, you know, it works for me. The dog's going to be mad because he's not going to get anything, but, you know. <laughs> you know I would admit, huh? Boy, are you, a, are you a cook? Do you like to cook? Yeah, I am. Do, do you and have an... Go ahead. We have been eating well. Do you have an Instapot, instant pot? No. Um, we have an electric pressure cooker. Good, um, good. We just bought, and I haven't tried it again yet because we have a, a slow cooker that we got from, my, my daughter did a uh, Pampered Chef party. Right. So of course, when your kids do that, you have to buy something. Right. So we bought a, um, a slow cooker and it's simply a, a stone crock right. with stone a- Stone crock, electric, electric powered stone crock. Yeah, with Great the well- for making with, jelly. It's got the, the base underneath that's electric and it's made yeah. in China and it didn't work the first time. So we sent it back and we got another one and I haven't tried it yet. And we'll probably give it away before I ever do try it again. But well, uh, slow cooking is really, is really cool. Peach. And Pardon? it's in two, peach, two parts. Yeah, it's two parts. So yeah. I can actually set it on the stove and use it yeah. that way also. So oh, well, that's, I never tried that. No, and, and that's what they, you know, the instructions tell you, you can use it various ways. Yeah. Um, but yes, I'm the cook. She cooked for 45 years, 46 years, whatever. So it, it was my turn and we split. I do the cooking. She does the cleanup. I love uh, it. So, and she likes it that way. Yeah, good. And uh, Paula Dean and I are good friends now. <laughs> so, uh, great recipes. And so we do eat well as Obviously, I've gained 34, 35 pounds, depending on what day it is. Um, that fluctuates. And uh, I was in the doctor's office today while Sharon was in. I went in with her. And I looked at the chart. Well, I went from the very bottom end at 142 pounds. I'm now up to 176, 77, 78. Depends on the day. I weigh myself every day. And Somebody said, you know, you should give everybody a good laugh every day. So I give myself a laugh. I stand in front of the mirror naked and it's good for about 10 minutes. So, uh, but, uh, but yes, I have gained quite a bit of weight So, And I'm going to try and move it up, not all in the same day, because that would require plastic surgery, but I am going to try and move my stomach up to somewhere in my chest area. What are you doing, um, I tried, to, you know, people were saying six pack abs and I drink a six pack every day and it, it doesn't work. I know it didn't work, did it? No, it doesn't. So that's a lie that they have propagated, but. Well, when I moved, uh, when I moved down here, I bought a uh, home gym from Sears with the uh, fiberglass bars that work for your weighting. And let me tell you, it took no, it took less than two weeks to have abs that just you know rippled across with it. And I wasn't putting any uh, really effort into it, and it it just did it because of the 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 pulling. And then uh, about uh, fourteen years ago, Pat wanted a uh, 
ab lounger. I bought her an ab lounger. I got on the thing and I pushed it hard one day. And that's when I uh, tore a muscle in the stomach. <laughs> yep. You got to be. The only good. way I'll have six pack abs is if they make a mold that you can put on and it well, preheats well, and molds your stomach. It's called a body suit. <laughs> remember yeah. the, the, uh, uh, the trip down to the island that, you know, we took. Yes. Oh, yeah. Were, if you'd have got a, up there by the pool, they were uh, spraying <laughs> those abs on <laughs> with an airbrush. <laughs> I was in the bar then, George. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about that. But, but yeah, it's uh, we've had a good run, and we've been in here. We've been in Ocean Isle for six years now, full time. We've had the house for 10 years. Yeah. And uh, even though it will be sad to give it up, it'll also be nice to be close to our children. So, yeah, you know, well, that's the trade off. Yeah, I have a cousin or an aunt that lives down there on Solomon's Island. Not actually out on the island itself where the restaurants and stuff are, but just on the inside of that little bridge that runs across to the island. Yeah. And Barb and Mike. McCall still live close to there, so we'll yeah. maybe do dinner with them occasionally. And uh, we've right gone to we'll we've gone to Hat, or not? We've gone to Hatteras with them for the last few years, surf fishing. So hmm. that's been good. That's something I haven't done since I was. We were down in the islands. I haven't been fishing since. Hate it. Oh, when we were in Bermuda? Yeah. When yeah, we, we went, did that. No, the, the class thing. Yeah. You guys went that. out on a boat, didn't you? Fishing? Yeah. Yeah. There was uh, uh, Roy, I thought you went with them fishing. Oh, yes. Roy and uh, Jimmy. Mike. Huh? Jim Perry. Jim Perry. Joe Krupe. Uh, hmm? Joe Krupe. Yeah, wow. myself and uh, Connie's husband, Connie uh, Plummer. Connie Shaw. Yeah, Connie yes. Shaw Plummer. Yes. Yeah, her husband. Wayne. Wayne. Can't remember him. He, for some reason, every time I see him, he reminds me of Johnny Stettelbottle. <laughs> a, young, a younger Johnny Stettelbottle than the last time I saw Johnny. Oh, wow. Roy, have you heard from um, Bobby Haskin? Uh, no. Well, we got a Christmas card from him. Yes. Oh, good. Good. And uh, yeah, they're doing well. They, so they're not in quarantine anywhere. No, they got back just before quarantine kicked in. So, oh, okay, great. But they no. they had a miraculously fantastic cruise. That was so a they went around the world, wasn't it? That was they circumnavigated. circumnavigated the world. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, I'd, I'd like to report I had a nice conversation with Mike Story today. Uh, he, cool. He's over on um, uh, on the east coast of Florida. Oh, south of Daytona. What's that? Merritt Island. And uh, he has a, an interesting life. But the thing I'm going to tell about, I can tell him because he can only see this after I send him the link because he can't participate and defend himself. He, he doesn't have a cell phone. He doesn't have a tablet. He, he doesn't have a laptop. He doesn't have a camera or a microphone on any of his equipment. So when I want to call him, I have to call him at home on the landline. Do you have a picture of his cave? Uh... Because he sounds like he lives in a cave somewhere. Oh, oh, oh! Well, he he hey. he's got a he's got a very nice house. Let me let me tell you just real briefly for people who don't know Mike and know. I'll put his picture up when I when I edit the the video. Um, Mike went to the uh, Coast Guard Academy and got a commission. He went to Vietnam on a, what he said, a small boat. I don't know what kind of uh, military boat it was, but while he was 
in the process of being in the military and being on ship, he started painting. And he has, I'll have to, I'll have to get it out and post it on, uh, you know, photograph it and post it up on the video. Actually, he was in Williamsburg and you know that uh, Episcopal church that was, I guess, one of the main churches in Williamsburg. He, he sketched that and painted it and he had it reproduced. He was selling it as souvenirs in shops. So he was selling it to souvenir shop. When he came back, he uh, went to University of Maryland Law School in Baltimore, got a law degree, and somehow, I don't know what the path was, because this was over time, he, uh, he got married, he got into banking, and uh, uh, Mary Kennedy uh, said that uh, she and Vernon went, they were living down there in Cocoa, and they were developing some sort of a surf shop or sports bar or something like that. And they went in to get a loan to the bank and it happened to be the bank that, that Mike was the VP of or the president. I don't know if he owned it or what, but he still dabbles in specialty loans. I don't know if he does drugs or not, but <laughs> he's really funny. He's, he's a gas, I, lo I love him. I tried to get him on here and he says, what do you need, fresh meat? I said, no, I'm just looking for more filet mignon. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's my story about Mike's story. <laughs> that's cool. That is great. So. Yeah. And watch it when you talk about landlines, because that's all I've got here in the house. <laughs> that and the computer. Yeah, well, hey, you know, you've got a camera, you've got audio, you, yeah. you're connected. Oh, if yeah. You, if you had a cell phone, you could call through your computer through your cell phone. No, thanks. <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to disconnect from cable. Yeah, uh, I'm not a big fan of Frontier, let me tell you. And I've had it for some time now. Yeah. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go back to Spectrum. Yeah, well, let me know how it does. There was something I wanted to share with Roy, and I just can't remember what it is. I have those moments, Dick. Well, I've had these my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you see the picture I put up of Ellis McElroy and his oh, helmet? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and and no. David Falstitch had sent I don't know if he sent it to everybody, but he sent me an email uh, saying that I that I helped him with a concussion as well. So I don't remember I, it. I saw that too. You know, when I was in my my last four and a half years of my employment before I retired, I was with a construction company, and they sent me all over the West Coast working uh, TSA jobs, and we installed. Uh, the pass-throughs where you hold your hands up in the air and it scans you, and then right. we upgraded the x-rays where your <laughs> carry-on baggage went through. Well, I ended up in San Jose, California, and I actually went over to David's house and had dinner with him. Did you, and it was did you see bonsai? He used Pardon? to make bonsai trees. Oh, it, we just, we enjoyed the whole evening together. Cool. And again, uh, Bobby and Russ Haskins, several times, uh, Sharon and I caught a flight. It, it was crazy. I was working down in D.C. at the old Mellon Auditorium. And one day I ran across something on the Internet. It said, round trip flight to San Francisco for $119. Oh, my Lord. Yes. So I called Sharon and I said, want to go to San Francisco? She said, shucks, yes. <laughs> so we went to San Francisco. And, uh, but in the interim, we talked to Bobby and Russ, and we went and met them for dinner. Uh huh. So during my years of travel with my construction company, I got to visit several people uh, from our class that I never would have gotten a chance to before. So but David was, and his wife Janice were 
wonderful, wonderful hosts and hostess. And uh, yeah, they're nice people. He, have he, that memory. He, he, and again, Janison went to our church in Clinton, so remembered her too. So was 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 that St. John's? No, Clinton Baptist. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so the world but, is but, really but, small when you pin it down. Oh yeah. When you uh, you mentioned California, I was in the military as a PFC. I was stationed at Presidio, San Francisco, and I went down to L.A. to see my brother, and uh, we he took me to Disneyland, <laughs> and who who showed up? I'm you know at Disneyland, but uh, Bob Roby and one of his you know class of uh, 65 classmates. Bob Broby was the guy who took my place as fullback on the football team. I just thought that was wild. You know, just bam, there they were. You know, yeah. Nick, when, when you showed that picture the other day, Sorellis, I was thinking about uh, Ty Anzetta, I think his name was. Bobby Anzetta? Huh? Bobby, Bobby Anzetta. Yeah, or Ty. Used to call him Ty. But oh, okay. uh, he graduated the year before we did. Yeah. And he was he he related a couple of stories. One was the fact that uh, he ran up against in practice against Cheryl Dudd. <laughs> and Cher you know how big Cheryl was. Oh yeah. Cheryl and I used to wrestle <laughs> after school. He came, he came down on top of Bobby's helmet with his elbow. Ooh. Bobby said he had a, a, a sore neck for the next two weeks because of it. Yeah. And yeah. the other one was something about uh, varsity club uh, initiation or something like that. <laughs> well, Ty had very hairy legs. <laughs> so they taped his legs up and pulled it off very slowly. And from my understanding, you could hear him all the way through the halls of the school when they did that. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't remember the hair pull so much. I'm pretty hairy, too. The thing that I really didn't like about the varsity uh, uh, initiation, var varsity club or whatever, yeah, they made us push a penny with our nose, nose. around the gym floor mm. and Good Lord, did I suck up the dust. It was horrible in your mouth and your nose and all over. And if yeah, you were part of the stingers, remember the stingers? Yes, oh, I yeah. do. Oh, we love that. That was Scott, fun. Scott who, who Wood. Was with you, Scott Wood, and who else? I have looked so much. Well, Don Sutherland was part of that group too. Oh, but I've he? looked for Scott Wood and have not been able to find him. Mm -mm. Now, he was in the Navy. Was and he? he was a commander or whatever. He was pretty high up. And he lived in La Plata for a while. And then he moved to Texas. And I have yet been able to find him wow. again. So that's, yeah, I, I was, somebody sent me some uh, football quotes. And I wanted to send it out to my teammates from high school. Because I have nothing to do with the guys at Maryland. They were a bunch of hoods. So my my friends were, well, this, what is this thing saying? We're running out of time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. That's all right. We're 35. We're gone 35 minutes, but we've had a good run. Um, and it's easier to edit if it's short. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> where, where was I going? Oh, anyway, my mind was in the wrong station anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to drop off here too, but happy new year. George, we enjoyed you. visiting you. you in your home in Florida. Yeah, well, and, uh, <laughs> since Pat passed away, the, the home has went to shit because I can hardly walk anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I'm using it. happens to all of us. Yeah. So we'll do this again soon. Yeah. yeah. Well, every, well, we're, I'm here every Thursday. Yep. Every Thursday. And I'm usually here just to talk to Dick because nobody else has been showing up lately. So, you know. Yeah, he's we've we've gotten to be buddies. 
We're BFF. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, l l let me tell you what I found in, in my, um, what do you call it, my stock photos. I, I went to, um, trying to think of the name, of Salisbury Cathedral, and they have uh, some fantastic models of, uh, and I took a lot of pictures. They, they have, basically, it's the construction uh, or a diorama or a 3D model, whatever you want to call it, of the building of Salisbury Cathedral. They have mm. each of the shops, the, the mason shop, the, the uh, carpenter shop, the cook shop, the metalworking shop, foundry, uh, all that. They have people up and they're putting in rafters and laying slates and, and they're all about this high. Yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll send, uh, I'll find no, them and send them to you. That's, that sounds like uh, uh, about 70 second scale where uh, yeah. an inch equals six foot or something like that. Yeah. I had a, I had another idea, you know, I'm into videography and cameras and stuff. And sometimes when you want to do a pre-visualization, you set up a model and it's just two walls. And yeah. you and I were talking about doll houses and I was wondering how to block out shots and do that. Then I realized that it's too confining. You've only got no back, you've got the walls in there. So what you can do is actually build um, the two walls and the floor that you want. And then if you need to do a pan or something like that, you, you, you can either hinge them together or make a separate L. And that's all you need is just an L. <coughs> anyway, just thought I'd carry through on that. Roy, it was great to see you. And Thanks. Dick, it was great. I'm running out of iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> I it's made gonna... by Jack Daniels. Yeah, that's I, well, very I, thought, I, tea. I thought you were going to say I, I've I've got to run to the bathroom. I got to make a run. No, 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 no. I'm good there. It it depends, Dick. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I have my little support bottle over here if I get trapped in the room. <laughs> so. Well, you guys take care. Happy New Year. Peace. Happy New Year to you, we'll, uh, Roy. We'll visit again. All right. Well, look for your mug online. <laughs> yes. See you then. We'll see you. All right. Bye, guys. People, people Bye. do appreciate you guys showing up. They do. They tell me they appreciate this. All righty. Well, I'm going to be out of here. So, okay. So long. See you in the future. Yeah. Be safe. Bye bye. Yeah, I always am. Or try to be. So long. Look at it. <laughs>